Hello, I have to come your way again and um, this time around I'm going to quickly look at the subject of finding a perfect partner. Now, that in itself sounds uh, out of this world. So many people are just killing themselves and wondering will I ever find a perfect partner. Simply put, one thing you've got to know is that there is no perfect partner in this whole wide world. That's number one. Number two is that you can possibly find a suitable, adaptable, and complementary partner, but never a perfect partner. Number three, I've heard people talk about having to use horoscope as a means of finding a partner you know if you know if this person is uh, uh, was born in a certain month and you are able to check the zodiac sign and with that you will be able to predict the future I tie all that onto superstition well that may not be your stand but Having been into it for close to 20 years now, I can tell you what works. And having been speaking on this and helping multiply thousands of people, if not millions, through our various programs, the seminars, the radio program, programs and the TV programs, I can tell you clearly what works. And that thing that works I base it on the Bible principles. Now, I don't want you to be biased about this because to think of it, you see, if you are talking about a perfect partner, I have an an, a substitute to that. I have an alternative and the alternative is what I have used and it has worked. And that alternative is what is written in the Bible, Genesis chapter 2. Verse 18, and the Bible says that God saw it was not good for the man to be alone. So he made for him a help meet. That's in King James Version. Another translation says that it is a suitable, adapted, and a complementary partner. So... You can look out for a complimentary partner. But before I bring this to an end, let me quickly tell you that you've got to be clear about what you want. So the whole thing comes right back to you. What do you want? Now, somebody said something about America, that today in America, anybody can become anything. But the problem is most people don't know what they want. Do you know what you want? Do you know the person you are looking for? If you saw the person the next minute, will you be able to recognize? Now, I think that the, the greatest part of the work is in you being able to bring yourself to the point where you'll be able to recognize the person you are looking for. So, you are the main person. You are the main person to be able to decide what do you want? If you can sit down and consult with yourself with all that you have as information and if you don't have enough information, see this is going to be your life. So you need to sit down and put it down. Where am I going? Maybe start with who am I? Where am I at this moment? Where am I going? Who should get there with me? Who is the kind of person I would like to walk into my future with? Now, by the time you do that and take note of the kind of things, what are the kind of in things that interest you? Do I love traveling? As a matter of fact, you will discover that after you put down the things you want, you will come to one conclusion. Most times, we look not for people because of their strengths, but we look for them because of our weaknesses. Well, that's where I want to bring this to a close today. Well, I want to thank you for spending your precious time with me. I'm just believing that this is a blessing to you. Let those tips, those information help you to 
have your dream fulfilled in your relationship. Thank you and God.